This audio program has been produced by YBM. All rights reserved. Listening test. In the listening test, you will be asked to demonstrate how well you understand spoken English. The entire listening test will last approximately 45 minutes. There are four parts, and directions are given for each part. You must mark your answers on the separate answer sheet. Do not write your answers in your test book. Part 1 Directions For each question in this part, you will hear four statements about a picture in your test book. When you hear the statements, you must select the one statement that best describes what you see in the picture. Then, find the number of the question on your answer sheet and mark your answer. The statements will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Look at the example item below. Now, listen to the four statements A. They're moving some furniture. B. They're entering a meeting room. C. They're sitting at a table. D. They're cleaning the carpet. Statement C. They're sitting at a table is the best description of the picture. So, you should select Answer C and mark it on your answer sheet. Now, Part 1 will begin. Number 1. Look at the picture marked Number 1 in your test book A. A man is opening a drawer. B. A man is wiping a counter. C. A man is ordering a meal. D. A man is pouring a beverage. Number 2. Look at the picture marked number 2 in your test book. A. A bicycle has been loaded onto a truck. B. Cyclists are riding down a city street. C. Several cars are parked in a row. D. A driver is getting out of a vehicle. Go on to the next page. Number 3. Look at the picture marked number 3 in your test book. A. A woman is hanging up a sign. B. Some customers are waiting in line. C. Some customers are paying for some merchandise. D. A woman is wearing a jacket. Number 4. Look at the picture marked number four in your test book. A. Some people are entering a building. B. Some people are holding on to a railing. C. Some people are crossing a road. D. Some people are descending some stairs. Number five. Look at the picture marked number five in your test book. A. A projector is being repositioned on a desk. B. Some printed materials are being distributed to a class. C. An audience is listening to a lecturer. D. Some people are organizing a workplace. Number 6. Look at the picture marked number 6 in your test book. A. A lamp has been attached to the wall. B. A door has been left open. C. An office is unoccupied. D. A keyboard is covered with file folders. Go on to the next page. Part 2 Directions You will hear a question or statement and three responses spoken in English. They will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Select the best response to the question or statement and mark the letter A, B, or C on your answer sheet. Now, let us begin with question number seven. Number seven. 
Let's meet in front of the theater at five. A. Okay, I'll see you there. B. I thought it cost six dollars. C. It's nice to meet you. Number eight. When will the sink be repaired? A. No, I don't think so. B. From the hardware store. C. By the end of the week. Number nine. Have they painted this lobby? A. On the last page. B. It is brighter in here now. C. There's one at the entrance. Number ten. Where did you put those budget estimates? A. They're on my desk. B. Yes, I did. C. He's at his attorney's office. Number eleven. Who's responsible for hiring decisions? A. Ramon, the managing director. B. The last week of each quarter. C. I was hired last August. Number twelve. Isn't there a sporting event at the arena tonight? A. No, I prefer art exhibits. B. I guess he does. C. Let me check the schedule. Number thirteen. Has your boss approved your transfer yet? A. I just put in the request. B. If you don't mind, thanks. C. Let's get off at the next stop. Number fourteen. Could you pick Mr. Peterson up from the airport? A. I haven't picked one. B. A long flight. C. Sure. At what time? Number fifteen. How do you get to work every day? A. We always start at nine. B. I take the local train. C. It's very busy here. Number sixteen. I can't read the patient's handwriting on these forms. A. Ask her to fill them out again. B. It is a well-written film. C. That depends on which post office. Number seventeen. When is my first appointment today? A. Around fifteen percent. B. Yes, that's what I meant. C. Not until after lunch. Number eighteen. Why hasn't the real estate contract been signed yet? A. It's under review. B. I'm not signed up. C. A few acres. Number nineteen. How many kitchen appliances have been sold this week? A. It's easy to apply. B. Around thirty, I think. C. We sell refrigerators. Number twenty. Would you mind if I kept the door open? A. Isn't the hallway too noisy? B. In the second drawer. C. Yes, you can use it. Number twenty-one. When is the team from Conrad Company expected to arrive? A. In the international terminal. B. All the way from Amsterdam. C. Ahmed made all those arrangements. Number twenty-two. This is the last interview scheduled for today, isn't it? A. 
It does have a lovely view. B. No, there's one more. C. They preferred the old schedule. Number 23. Which caterer is supplying food for the company picnic? A. A large supply order. B. The same one we used last year. C. The orders have come in over the phone. Number 24. Why don't we ask for two office assistants? A. Yes, that's a good idea. B. She works in human resources. C. No, just a few days. Number 25. Have we sold more tickets this year than last year? A. I thought I put them in your mailbox. B. I didn't organize the concert last year. C. It will be held on Tuesday. Number 26. Should I present the sales figures at today's meeting or tomorrow's? A. Tomorrow's has been cancelled. B. Only a slight increase. C. Are all purchases final? Number 27. This jacket isn't as warm as I thought it would be. A. With a matching scarf. B. According to the weather report. C. Would you like to go inside? Number 28. We can leave our bags at the reception desk, can't we? A. It ends at 10 o'clock. B. Of course we can. C. There are plenty of rooms. Number 29. Why is Shreya leaving the company? A. A leader in the business. B. I put it next to the window. C. She found a job in Chicago. Number 30. Should we go straight to the office or stop by the hotel first? A. There's room in the taxi. B. Either is fine with me. C. Yes, you're right. Number 31. Does the security desk know that Mr. Ito is coming in today? A. Maybe later, thanks. B. It's in the top drawer. C. You'd better call them. Part 3. Directions. You will hear some conversations between two or more people. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speakers say in each conversation. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The conversations will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 32 through 34 refer to the following conversation. Crocker Sporting Goods, how may I help you? Hello, I have to change the delivery address of a package I ordered from your website. It's being sent to my new home in Chicago, but my move in date got delayed, so I won't be there. Can my package be sent to my current address instead? Unfortunately, once the package has been shipped, it cannot be rerouted. Well, No one will be there to receive it. I don't want anything to happen to it. Is there anything you can do? Let me call the shipping agent in Chicago and have them hold the package for you. That way, your package will remain safe until you arrive. Number 32. Who most likely is the man? Number 33. What is the woman trying to do? Number 
What does the man offer to do? Questions 35 through 37 refer to the following conversation. Pablo, I heard about your promotion. That's great news. When do you start your new position? Thanks very much. I start on Monday. Things are a little busy at the moment, though, because my new office is on a different floor and I have to move all my personal belongings there. I just took inventory of the office supplies, so if you need anything to help you pack, let me know. That would actually be very helpful. I can't believe how many things I've accumulated over the years. Do you think I can get some cardboard boxes and tape? Number 35. What will the man do on Monday? Number 36. Why does the man say he is busy? Number 37. What does the woman offer to do? Questions 38 through 40 refer to the following conversation. Hi, Sunisa. I just finished the final cut of the TV commercial we produced for the Denton Company. Do you have time to take a look at it? I'd love to know what you think. To be honest, TV ads aren't really my specialty. Now, I know he's only been at our company for a few months, but Rashid has worked in television for years, and I think he's in his office right now. Oh? Well, I'll check with him. We're presenting this to the Denton Company on Thursday, and I really want to make sure they're not disappointed. Number 38. What has the man just finished doing? Number 39. What does the woman imply when she says, Rashid has worked in television for years? Number 40. What does the man say he is concerned about? Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation. Hi, Richard. I just saw the catering order for Satoshi Kato's retirement party next week. Yeah, the restaurant said they deliver the food around 11.45. That should give us plenty of time to set up for lunch. That's great, but, um, have you ever met Mr. Kato? Oh, right. Of course. How could I forget that Mr. Kato doesn't eat meat? I'll call the restaurant later today to change the order, but I really have to finish this seating chart first. I can call the restaurant for you so you can finish up here. That'd be great. Thank you so much. Number 41. According to the woman, what is taking place next week? Number 42. Why does the woman say, Have you ever met Mr. Kato? Number 43. What does the woman offer to do? Go on to the next page. Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. Hi, Ms. Santiago. It's Jim, your manager, calling. I just got an email from Bergen Industries. Apparently, the presentation you gave yesterday really impressed them. And now, thanks to you, they've decided to use us to supply all their paper products. That's great news. But I can't take all the credit. James Tanaka, in our advertising department, made the slides for my presentation. He's very creative. I'm not surprised. Mr. Tanaka also did a wonderful job designing our catalog this year. Be sure to let him know that we appreciate his abilities. I'll do that. He's out of the office today, but I'll be sure to give him that feedback when I see him tomorrow. 
Number 44. Why is the man calling the woman? Number 45. What do the speakers say about James Tanaka? Number 46. What does the woman promise to do tomorrow? Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation. Mehdi, I've been working on the design for the new library. I put the floor plans on your desk this morning. Did you have a chance to look at them? Yes, I like what you did, but there's one problem. In your plan, the computer lab is located on the second floor, and I thought it was supposed to be on the first floor next to the elevator. That was the original idea, but I believe the library director wanted that room moved upstairs so that we'd have space to make the lobby bigger. We'd better check on that. I'll call the director this afternoon just to make sure. Number 47. What are the speakers discussing? Number 48. What is the man concerned about? Number 49. What does the man say he will do this afternoon? Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. Hello. I'm calling to follow up on a hotel stay I booked with your travel agency. I just came back from my trip to Prague, and I must say I'm disappointed. Your website said the Chester Hotel is in the heart of Prague, but it was actually a 30-minute ride to the city center. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. I will definitely take a look at the description in our advertisement of the Chester Hotel and make sure it's not misleading. Yes, I really think that information needs to be changed. I spent over $200 in taxi fare getting into the city. Would you be able to pay me back for the extra transportation costs? Number 50. Why was the woman disappointed with a hotel? Number 51. What does the man say he will do? Number 52. What does the woman request? Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation. Hey, Ben, will you be attending the regional directors meeting in Paris next Monday? Yes, I will. You too? I am, but how do I board the train without a paper ticket? I just received the email confirmation for my trip, but I'm not sure how to retrieve the ticket. When you get to the station, look for the self-serve kiosks. Make sure you have the reservation number with you and follow the instructions to print out the paper ticket. OK. I'm on the four o'clock train, so I'll make sure I leave the office a bit early to do that. I'll actually be on the same train. We should share a taxi to the train station. Number 53. Why is the woman traveling to Paris? Number 54. What does the man explain to the woman? Number 55. What does the man suggest? Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation. Hi, Thule. What did you think about the new email policy they announced at the staff meeting? I wasn't really surprised. I think a lot of companies ask employees not to use personal email accounts at work. 
Yes, but I'm sure everyone has to send personal emails during office hours occasionally. What if I need to contact my bank? Oh, something like that shouldn't be a problem. The company is just concerned because there have been complaints about some employees spending too much time on non-work activities. Number 56. What are the speakers mainly discussing? Number 57. Why does the man say, What if I need to contact my bank? Number 58. According to the woman, what complaint has been made about some employees? Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. Hey Sue, Hector and I are going to lunch at Antonio's restaurant. Would you like to join us? A few others from the office are coming as well. It'll be a good chance for you to socialize with your new colleagues. Thanks for inviting me, but isn't that a bit far away to go for lunch? It would take us 20 minutes just to get there, so we wouldn't have enough time to eat. Oh, you're thinking of the original Antonio's by the town hall. They just opened a second place much closer to here. Right, and we plan to go a little early to beat the lunch rush. In that case, sure. Let me just tell my manager that I'll be going to lunch early. Number 59. What is the woman invited to do? Number 60. What does the woman say she is concerned about? Number 61. What will the woman most likely do next? Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation. Hello. I'd like to purchase some tables and chairs for a new restaurant I'll be opening. I saw the prices on your website, but I was wondering if you have any discounts for large orders. We do offer discounts, as long as you're ordering at least 20 sets of tables and chairs. Do you already know how many you'll need? I don't have the exact number yet, but I'm sure it'll be more than 20. I was also wondering how quickly you'd be able to deliver the furniture. The restaurant is set to open next month, so I'd like everything delivered within the next two weeks. Number 62. What does the woman want to buy? Number 63. Why will the woman receive a discount? Number 64. What does the woman say will happen next month? Go on to the next page. Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation and chart. Welcome to Woodford Electronics. How may I help you? Well, I purchased this digital camera yesterday from your store, but when I try to preview the photos I've taken, an error code displays on the screen. Really? Let me take a look. I have a chart here of all the codes. Perhaps it'll tell us what's going on. Ah, I see. According to the chart, the camera doesn't have enough battery power to preview the photos. Oh, do I need to buy a new battery? Well, let me give you a new one for free, since you just bought the camera from us yesterday. Number 65. Who most likely is the woman? Number 66. Look at the graphic. Which error code is the camera displaying? Number 67. 
What will the woman most likely do next? Questions 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation and map. Jinhee, the company is closing the parking area in front of our research lab for construction next month. Can you send an email to tell the rest of the team? Yeah, sure. Did they decide where everyone should park in the meantime? We're supposed to use the west parking area till the construction's finished. That's quite a long walk from our lab. When the weather's bad, the roads around here can get really icy. Don't worry. The company's providing shuttles from the parking area to our lab. Could you add that to the email as well? Number 68. Look at the graphic. Which parking area will be closed? Number 69. What is the woman concerned about? Number 70. What does the man say the company will do? Part 4. Directions. You will hear some talks given by a single speaker. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speaker says in each talk. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The talks will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following telephone message. Hello, Mr. Ortega. This is Helen from Super Office Furnishings. I'm calling about the new desk that you ordered for your office. The black one with the glass top? Well, we've run into a problem. That model is out of stock, and the manufacturer isn't sure when more will be available. But we do have a few other desks within your price range that you might consider purchasing instead. I'd be happy to email you some photos of these other desks. Just give me a call and let me know what email address I can reach you at. I'm sure we can find one you'll be happy with. Number 71 where does the woman work? Number 72. What problem does the woman mention? Number 73. Why does the woman ask the man to call her back? Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting. Thank you all for coming into the clinic early today before our patients start arriving. I wanted to give everyone an update on the transition to the new electronic patient record software. We are scheduled to move to the new system on October 10th. I know that you've already been trained in the new software. What I'd like to do for the next half an hour or so is discuss your experience with the system and identify any issues we still need to address. Number 74. Where is the talk most likely taking place? Number 75. What will happen on October 10th? Number 76. What will the listeners do next? Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following instructions. Good morning. I want to go over what you'll be doing during registration for the IT Strategy Conference. We've set up two tables in the lobby with conference materials, and you'll be handing out registration packets. Each packet contains a schedule, a map of the building, and a name tag. Remember to ask for photo identification, like a passport or a driver's license, before you give these out. 
Attendees have until noon to check in, and then in the afternoon you'll be free to go to any presentations you want. Number 77. What event is being discussed? Number 78. What are listeners reminded to do? Number 79. What can listeners do in the afternoon? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following telephone message. Hi, Pedro. This is Margaret. Thanks again for helping me plan the reception to welcome Professor Edmondson to our university. I know we decided to reserve a private dining room at the Willow Lane restaurant so we can all meet our new colleague. But now we have a problem. Thirty-five people have accepted the invitation. I wasn't expecting so many. It's probably not too late to book a different place, but we have to hurry. Would you have time to call some other restaurants this morning to see what space they have available? Then we can decide what to do. Number 80. What is the speaker planning? Number 81. What does the speaker imply when she says, 35 people have accepted the invitation. Number 82. What does the speaker ask the listener to do? Go on to the next page. Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting. Good morning. As you know, we're going to carry a different brand of exercise machines at our store starting next month. The selection will include equipment such as treadmills and stationary bikes. It's very important that you, as sales associates, become familiar with the products and know how to use each machine. So, I'll be giving each of you a brochure with pictures and descriptions of all the machines to look over. Please read through this information. Next week, a representative from the manufacturer will come to the store and train us on the new equipment. Number 83. What is the speaker mainly discussing? Number 84. What are the listeners asked to do? Number 85. According to the speaker, what will occur next week? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following telephone message. Hi, Alan. It's Clarence. I'd like to talk to you about moving your workstation to our new office space on the second floor. I know you're used to the space where you work now, but... You are right next to the break room. It's much quieter on the second floor. Plus, the other software developers are already in the new space, and it'd be convenient to have our entire team close together. Please begin packing your belongings this week, and on Monday, I'll arrange for someone to come and set up your computer in the new location. Number 86. What does the speaker want to talk about? Number 87. Why does the speaker say, You are right next to the break room. Number 88. What does the speaker say will take place on Monday? Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following introduction. I'd like to introduce to you Jacqueline Porter, 
who's here today to lead customer service training for all our City Heights shoe store employees. Jacqueline has been educating staff on customer service strategies for several years. She has a lot of insight into dealing with client interactions in the retail environment. Today's focus will be how to best build customer loyalty so that our customers will continue to come back to our stores. Before I let Jacqueline start, just a quick reminder to please switch off your mobile phones to minimize distractions during her presentation. Number 89. Where do the listeners most likely work? Number 90. Who is Jacqueline Porter? Number 91. What does the speaker remind listeners to do? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following instructions and schedule. Good morning, everyone. We're going to have a busy day because of the power failure last night. The electricity was down for about an hour and several departments are reporting trouble connecting to the Internet. They'll need our help getting their servers back online. However, the head of the product development team said that they can't reschedule the video conference they've got this morning, so I'm going to head over now to make sure that everything is operational in the room that they've booked. I've asked Li Wei to answer the help desk phone as requests come in. The rest of you can get started on the work orders that we already have. Number 92. What happened last night? Number 93. Look at the graphic. Which room will the speaker go to next? Number 94. According to the speaker, what will Li Wei do? Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following broadcast and map. Good evening. This is Channel 11 News. Today, Mayor Goldberg held a press conference to announce plans to repair damaged roads in the city. The mayor said the project will begin next month, and Smith Road will be the first road closed. There will be detour signs posted, but please be aware that no one will be able to access Smith Road for at least two weeks. The mayor also announced that at least 100 new workers would be hired to complete the road work. You can visit the Channel 11 website for a link to descriptions of these new jobs. Number 95 who gave a press conference today? Number 96. Look at the graphic. Which building will be affected by the first road closure? Number 97. What information does the speaker say can be found on a website? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following announcement and boarding pass. Attention, passengers of flight B-1205 to Los Angeles. This flight is overbooked. If you're available to take a later flight today, Please come to the customer service desk right away and you'll receive a voucher for a free, round-trip domestic flight. Additionally, we are now scheduled to board at gate 24C. We apologise for the late notice, but the door to the jet bridge is not working, so we're being moved to a different gate. Thank you for your patience. We'll begin boarding shortly. Number 98. According to the speaker, why should listeners visit the customer service desk? Number 99. 
Look at the graphic. Which information has changed? Number 100. According to the speaker, what is the reason for the change? This is the end of the listening test. End of recording.